Hi friends, today I am going to explain about abrasive jet machining. Okay, let us study about the various components, what it includes. Uh, abrasive jet machining, it includes a filter and a pressure gauge and a regulator and mixing chamber which is mounted on the vibratory source. Okay and a connecting house where the mixing chamber is connected to the nozzle by using a connecting hose okay and finally a workpiece which is kept under the nozzle let us study about the working principle of abrasive jet machining of course abrasive jet machining is one of the non conventional machining process here the workpiece and the tool is not contact with each other okay so let us study about the principle of abrasive jet machining when the gas supply is provided in this connecting house apart from gas you can also use the pressurized air when the pressurized gas supply is passed from the filter the pressure of this gas is up to near 2 to 8 kg of centimeter square okay the filter which removes the unwanted material from the gas afterwards it flows towards the regulator before regulator it measures the pressure of gas by means of pressure gauge okay it uh, indicates the pressure of supplied gas a regulator which regulates the flow of gas and it controls the flow of gas supply okay in this direction the gas will be entered and comes into the mixing chamber it enters into the mixing chamber this is the mixing chamber which is mounted on the vibratory source okay this mixing chamber initially contained a abrasive particles okay this mixing chamber already contains some amount of powdered abrasive particles the abrasive particles are in the form of powder okay this powdered abrasive particles are mixed with the high pressure gas because of the vibration of this chamber okay i already told you a vibratory source which is used to vibrate this chamber because of vibration the gas and abrasive particles in the form of powder is mixed to form a gas plus abrasive particles okay mix it up in this mixing chamber okay afterwards after completion of this mixing of these gas and abrasive particles it flows or uh, flows through the connecting hose this is the connecting hose and finally enters the nozzle where the velocity of these two Mix, mixture it means gas plus abrasive particles is in high the velocity of gas and abrasive particles are very high in this condition okay it is up to 150 to 300 meter per minute where the velocity is up to 150 to 300 meter per minute and finally it enters the nozzle nozzle maintains the uniform velocity of these mixture gas and abrasive particles the nozzle maintains the maintains the flow of abrasive particles finally due to the high pressure or high velocity the abrasive particles impinges impinges on the surface of the work through the nozzle okay abrasive particles impinges on the surface of the work through the nozzle and metal removal occurs and metal removal occurs due to abrasion action due to abrasion action erosion will be taken place 
erosion so metal removal occurs due to the erosion this is caused by high speed abrasive particles here the high speed abrasive particles which removes the metal it is in the form of erosion erosion means removing the surface from this removing the metal from the work surface okay and uh, because of repeated impacts of small bits of material because of repeated impacts means forcefully applied on the surface forcefully impinges on the surface so repeated impacts repeated impacts of the abrasive particles on the surface of the workpiece it removes the material and uh, loosened particles are carried away by the jet it means the abrasive and work particles swept out together after completion of removing after completion of abrasion action the abrasive and work particles swept out it means it is carried away from the work surface and exposing the fresh surface to the jet okay this is working principle of this abrasive jet machining is based on the erosion erosion principle okay continuous impinging impinges of the abrasive particles which acts as a cutting materials it removes the abrasive particles of course it acts as a cutting materials due to the high velocity of abrasive particles towards the work surface it removes the material okay the accuracy of this abrasive jet machining is more as compared to conventional machining process okay this is regarding the working principle of abrasive jet machining thank you